Okay, we're going to talk about uh, Sarah's breathing problem and the real cause of it. Now, Sarah is not her real name. Uh, you know, she wanted privacy here. So I've got an email from her. So we will not use her real name. And I will disguise a little bit her circumstances. But we'll get the essential essential thing out here and bring to your attention. Uh, you know, it's a rather sophisticated but doable way to get to what's really causing our various issues. So Sarah writes to me in part. Hi, Mr. Craig. Oh. Well, she should say, dear Gary. Most people call me Gary, okay. The reason I write you is because for the past six or seven months, I've been struggling with difficulty of breathing. Uh, she goes on to say she had herself checked by, by three different doctors, and they did a lot of you know doctor's tests, and they couldn't find anything material really wrong physically within her body. So they basically said, well, it's not much. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. But her symptoms were such that she did worry about it. Okay. Uh, and, 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 and her thought process was more like, well, just because the doctors don't see something on x-rays and tests they're doing and so on, it doesn't necessarily mean it in there because I'm the one doing the breathing and I've got a breathing problem. So then she writes on, I suspect there is a, there are emotional factors behind it because I have always been a private person since I was a child. I remember holding my anger and sadness for myself because I don't want people to see me hurting. Okay. Well, apparently from this, her, her doctors weren't looking at emotional issues and they, and they tend not to because that's not part of their training. Uh, with EFT, that's what we really look at. We aim right at it. In fact, we find that to be the, the cause of just about every, either the cause or a material contributor to just about every ailment you can imagine. So what she was saying, let's, let's look at the emotional possibilities here the causes now it is the cause well i'm a private person and i just don't want to show my emotions so i sort of swallow them and don't exhibit them and stuff them or this kind of thing well yeah and that's that's a way that is commonly looked at even in the psychotherapy field oh gee you're stuffing things gee, why why let's let them out kind of thing well we look a little further into that. And by the way, what I'm giving you here is uh, somewhat advanced, although anybody can do it. If you'll look at the um, essential links that are below this video, you know, after you watch it and, and all that, you'll see links to, I've got a free ebook on the unseen therapist, which is our primary process nowadays. Um, we've got some advanced training. It costs some money, but this is where you'll really get major stuff done, the free newsletter and that kind of thing. So let, let's get, let's get back to Sarah's, Sarah's thoughts here. Maybe it's the fact that, you know, I don't exhibit all my emotions. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to look at it a little different. I'm going to go a little deeper than that. You see, there's likely, there's a high likelihood. There's a reason why she doesn't want to exhibit her emotions. Now, what did she say here? She said, she said, uh, I remember holding my anger and sadness for myself because I don't want people to see me hurting. Now, I don't know everything there is behind those words. Likelihood, my experience, likelihood, is that if, if other people see her hurting, there is a perceived penalty involved. What is it? I don't know. It takes more discussion, but let's, let's look at possibilities. It wouldn't surprise me to learn that somewhere in childhood, there are a number of specific events where maybe she was hurt and she got cried and, and her father, mother, siblings, somebody said, 
Oh, stop your crying, you cry baby, you know, and or spanked her. Or, you know, something like, you keep crying, I'll really give you something to cry about, spank, spank. You know, a penalty for showing the emotion. Now, this could take a lot of different forms. I'm just giving you one possibility here. So the young child, the young child stuffs the emotional responses because they don't want the penalty. They don't want to be rejected. They don't want to be hit. They don't want to be criticized in some fashion that feels bad. And so they learn not to do it. And so until those specific events, and that's that's what we do here. We break these down into specific events um, so that we can address the true underlying cause. These are moments in time in childhood, typically, where there's emotional crescendos that never get resolved. We start resolving them. And then the whole idea of show emotions, you get penalized, show emotions, you get penalized, you know, don't do it, don't do it, show emotions, get penalized, don't do it kind of thing. That starts to fade. There's freedom now. And to the extent that's behind the breathing problem, ah, and it wouldn't surprise me if, it, if it's a major cause, but ah, now we breathe more easily. You see, the, the doctor's x-rays and other diagnostic things uh, don't really show emotions or emotional issues, at least as far as I know they don't, okay? But here we learn how to go for these emotional causes. Now, do I know for sure what it is that was causing Sarah's issues? No, I have to talk to her some more and get more details, etc. But therein lies the idea. Many of our emotional issues are sort of hidden. They're, they're not front and center. We need to go dig into them, put them front and center. And by the way, unseen therapist once you learn how to use her well, can assist you mightily in finding what those issues really are. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, you know, I, I, I give it a shot. If this is the kind of thing that, that uh, you deal with yourself, okay. We'll see you next time.